ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਅ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਔਨ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਡਰਾ ਅ ਟ੍ਰਾਇੰਗਲ ਵੈਨ ਬੇਸ ਐਂਗਲ ਬੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਟੂ ਸਾਈਡਸ ਇਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਵੈਲ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਟੂ ਸਾਈਡਸ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਸਾਈਡ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਬੇਸ ਲੈਟਸ ਸੇ ਦ ਬੇਸ ਇਜ਼ BC right now the other two sides of the triangle would be ab and ac now it is interesting to note that one side of the triangle would be along the arm of angle c and other side of the triangle will be along the arm of triangle c remember if this is a angle let's say this angle is c so this is first arm of angle and this is the second arm of angle c two arms and a common point c or vertex c makes a angle right so let's forget this now now the two cases are there the first case is the side ab this side is along the arm of base angle now b is the base angle so if the side of the triangle along the arm of base angle that is ab is bigger if ab is bigger so ab minus ac would be positive right so in other words we can say ac is smaller than ab what is ab ab is the side of the triangle along the arm of base angle b okay then let's see how we draw the triangle so what will you do we have already drawn the base that's the step 1 draw the base number 2 on the base taking b on on point b make angle x b c is equal to base angle whatever is given right let's say it is 60 degree you will draw 60 degree on base angle b now it's there in our mind that somewhere here will be a here here or here we have to find out so ab is greater than ac it's there in our mind that is the side of the triangle along the arm of base angle is bigger than the side of the triangle along the arm of second base angle which is not given which is c angle is not given b angle is given okay now we can draw the b here also then you will draw the angle from here you can draw b here you can draw c here no problem i have just taken bc like this now ab is greater than ac what we will do now the difference is given ab minus ac is given let's say that difference is equal to bd so mark the point d here bd is equal to difference of two sides ab minus ac right fourth point join dc all right 
let me join dc after joining dc i'll write here join dc fifth point draw a perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector on dc so students see here this line is not perpendicular bisector this line is not perpendicular bisector right and this line is also not perpendicular bisector it's a perpendicular but not bisector but if i take this perpendicular in the center of dc here i can say that this is perpendicular bisector, bisector. beautiful so i have to extend this line wait a minute so let me extend this line right so this line is there my bx is drawn smaller i will extend bx now bx is extended and where the perpendicular bisector the name of perpendicular bisector is let's say m n m n is a perpendicular bisector on dc where the perpendicular bisects cuts bx that point is the third vertex of your required triangle a so when you join what students when you join ac you will get the required triangle which triangle triangle a b c now how you will check whether you have drawn correctly just measure ab with the scale from ab subtract ac that will be exactly equal to bd this bd which is the difference of two sides let's quickly go to the second case in this case students the side of triangle along arm of base angle is shorter right so how you will draw so here in this case again let's say base is given so we will draw base here let's say base is again we will take same uh, uh, same points as we have taken in the last case so let's say this is b c b c is the base the base angle given is b okay it it must be given in the statement b is the base angle so very simple you know how to draw base angle 60 degree 90 degree 30 degree that you know how to draw don't draw with d you have to draw with compass right you have to do construction so let's say base angle is given so you draw the base angle right now extend the line backwards also am i right extend the line backwards also okay now you have drawn what you have drawn xy you have drawn xy angle y b c is equal to anyone is equal to base angle whatever is given angle y b c this angle right okay now students what you do you have been given the difference of sides now we know in this case the side we will get a somewhere here somewhere here or somewhere here we don't know and the side along the this is the arm of base angle this one right this arm of base angle the side of our final triangle along the arm of this given base angle would be shorter right yeah. would be shorter. shorter so what will be given imagine if this is a it will not be given ab minus ac is equal to something it will be given 
ए सी माइनस ए बी इज इक्वल टू समथिंग दिस इज पॉजिटिव ठीक है द एग्जामिनर कैन बी वेरी स्मार्ट ही कैन से ए बी माइनस ए सी इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव टू then you have to apply your brain that it, this is the case of this only because if it is given like this that means ab plus 2 is equal to ac right mm -hmm. so you have to apply your mind right okay so once again this is the case where the side of the triangle along the given base angle is shorter and the side of the final triangle along the other base angle which is not given is larger beautiful great so now extend this towards this and whatever is the difference instead of cutting the difference here cut the difference on the opposite side backwards. right backwards so here you will get your d initially you used to get your d here now here you will get your d and bd is equal to tell me bd is equal to ac correct very good it's not ab minus ac rather bd is equal to ac minus ab a, this shows mm -hmm. that ac is bigger this equation shows ac is bigger and ab is smaller because ab when subtracted from ac gives you a positive thing just like 4 subtracted from 7 gives you a positive thing so we know 4 is smaller than 7 right okay that's good all right students let's go further interesting case you have joined bd do the same thing which you have done last time can anyone tell the next step join dc, DC beautiful and next step draw a perpendicular bisector on dc beautiful perpendicular bisector on dc is this perpendicular bisector one rows palgun is this no sir no is this perpendicular bisector no no okay, now i am bringing it in the center but i am changing the angle is it perpendicular bisector of dc no it is only the bisector but this is the perpendicular bisector of dc am i right yes. which line the line mn mn is the perpendicular bisector of yes sir gunkar Please tell. Of MN is a perpendicular bisector of DC. DC, beautiful. Just like in the last case, see the last case. Wherever, see here also, MN was a perpendicular bisector of DC. Where MN intersects BX, you will get the third vertex of triangle. Two vertex already we got B and C. You will get third vertex, same one. now this mn intersects the xy at this point this is the third vertex a simply join ac you will get the required triangle all right so required triangle is students see here this is your required triangle ac this is your ab and this is your bc as you can see students such a interesting case that ab that is the side of the triangle along the arm of angle b is shorter then ac ac is the side of the triangle along the base angle c p and c both are base angle but c is not given right stay tuned share with your friends wait for the next video thank you very much students do subscribe if you like it